Ladies aren't it. Uh-huh. You're right, William. It's her life. Get the attachments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me? I'm sorry. In the landscape of early 2000s television, a show emerged that would redefine the portrayal of African American women on the small screen. Girlfriends, a vibrant and witty sitcom, not only captivated audiences with its humor and heart, but also stirred the pot with its behind the scenes drama and controversies. I wouldn't dare with you threatening me with menacing phrases like lickety split. At the heart of this show were four women, each bringing their own flair and complexity to the narrative, making Girlfriends a relatable and groundbreaking series. Many fans still wonder why the iconic show ended. Let's uncover a tapestry of challenges and triumphs, both on and off the screen. From alleged feuds among the cast to the struggles they faced in a Hollywood that often seemed indifferent to their talents, Girlfriends was more than just a show. It was a reflection of the real trials and tribulations of its stars. The series, while a beacon of representation and empowerment, was also mired in the realities of an industry not always welcoming to diversity. You know, I need a white woman because I've just about had it with you black men. <laughs> The journey of Girlfriends is a tale of resilience, ambition, and the harsh realities of fame. It's a story that intertwines the glittering allure of Hollywood with the less glamorous struggles faced by those who bring our favorite characters to life. I don't think they thought it was worth the money or the effort to... This is not just the story of a TV show. It's a glimpse into the lives of those who made Girlfriends a phenomenon and the indelible mark it left on television history. Chapter 1. The Show's Beginnings and Cultural Impact Girlfriends, premiering in the year 2000, was not just another sitcom. It was a cultural milestone, a show that brought to life the stories of African-American women with an authenticity and vibrancy that was rare for its time. Created by Mara Brock Akeel, this series was a trailblazer, setting the stage for a more inclusive and diverse representation on television. Interestingly, the show's inception was a bold move in an industry where shows centered around the lives of black women were not the norm. Girlfriends broke this mold, offering a fresh perspective that resonated deeply with audiences. It wasn't just about the laughs, the show provided a window into the lives, loves, and struggles of its characters, making it a relatable and beloved series. Moreover, the cast of Girlfriends brought an undeniable chemistry to the screen. Tracy Ellis Ross, Golden Brooks, Persia White, and Jill Marie Jones became the faces of a new era of TV heroines. They were not just characters, they were representations of real women, with their complexities, triumphs and challenges laid bare for the audience to see. As a result, the show quickly garnered a loyal fan base. It wasn't just entertaining, it was empowering. Girlfriends tackled issues like racism, S, and the many facets of relationships with a boldness that was both refreshing and necessary. It was a show that didn't shy away from the tough conversations, making it a beacon for progressive storytelling. Because of that, Girlfriends also became a topic of discussion beyond the screen. It sparked conversations about representation in media and about the importance of seeing diverse stories being told by those who live them. The show became more than just entertainment. It was part of a larger cultural dialogue about inclusivity and the portrayal of black women in the media. However, beneath the surface of this groundbreaking series were rumblings of discontent and challenges that threatened to overshadow its success, allegations of unequal pay, rumors of onset tensions, and the struggles faced by the cast in an industry that was often less than welcoming to diversity were just some of the issues that girlfriends had to contend with. Chapter 2. Behind the Scenes Challenges Behind the laughter and camaraderie that girlfriends brought to the screen, there lay a more complex and often troubling reality. The show, while a beacon of representation, grappled with the harsh truths of an industry that was not always welcoming or fair, especially to actors of color. I'd say they, I would, I would mean like the big executive types. They didn't really know how important it was. Reggie Hayes, who portrayed William Dent, experienced firsthand the stark contrast in treatment and opportunities afforded to black actors versus their white counterparts. In a candid revelation, Hayes shared the struggles he faced after the show ended. Unlike the stars of comparable shows like Friends, Hayes found himself without a steady stream of opportunities. His story, as he recounted, was one of hardship and survival, a far cry from the glitz and glamour often associated with Hollywood. Hayes' story is particularly poignant. 
His struggle with finding meaningful work post-girlfriends is a reflection of the larger issue of typecasting and the lack of diverse roles for black actors. His experience highlights the need for a more inclusive and equitable industry, where talent is recognized and nurtured regardless of race. The challenges faced by the cast of Girlfriends were not just about their careers but also about the impact on their personal lives. The pressure to maintain a certain image, the uncertainty of job security, and the struggle to find roles that resonated with their talents and aspirations were constant realities. I don't want to lose something that works so well. And it was like a parent to me. The series had provided him not only with a steady income, but also with a sense of purpose and identity. The sudden loss of this anchor sent Hayes into a spiral of challenges. He struggled to find roles that matched the significance of William Dent, leading to financial difficulties and personal struggles. Hayes's journey after Girlfriends was a reflection of the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. Despite his talent and the fame he had garnered from the show, he faced the same challenges as many other actors in finding consistent work. His situation was compounded by the economic recession at the time, which made the entertainment industry even more competitive and unforgiving. The financial strain led Hayes to make difficult decisions, including selling a plot of land he had bought and moving into a rented bungalow in a less desirable area. His story highlights the often overlooked aspect of actors' lives, the uncertainty and instability that can follow even a successful television run. Hayes eventually moved into his sister's garage, living there for six years, a stark reminder of the transient nature of fame and success in Hollywood. Spend the money to, because it was like, it was going to be the last year, that last year. I don't think it, they thought it was worth the money. After Girlfriends ended, there have been talks about Reggie Hayes facing tough times. During the show, he was loved by many for his funny and charming role as William Dent. But after the show, things got hard for him. People close to Reggie say that when Girlfriends stopped, he felt really lost and alone. He had a hard time finding new roles as good as William. Reggie himself said he thinks the big bosses in Hollywood didn't understand how important the show was to him, both for his career and his personal life. For Reggie, being part of Girlfriends was more than just a job. It was something that kept him steady in the often unstable world of acting. He strongly felt that the show was more than entertainment. It had a special meaning for the community and connected deeply with many people. But the way the show's end was handled by the executives seemed to make things harder for him. After Girlfriends ended, Reggie felt overlooked, like he was just another person in the industry who didn't matter much. This feeling of not being valued for his role in the show really affected him. Dealing with depression, Reggie turned to food for comfort. This led to significant weight gain, and he reached a weight of 300 pounds, showing how much he was struggling inside. I got real depressed for years, and uh, I went up to like 300 pounds. The other cast members also faced their own set of challenges and successes post Girlfriends. Golden Brooks, Tracy Ellis Ross, Persia White, and Jill Marie Jones each embarked on different paths, exploring new roles and opportunities. Their journeys post-show were diverse, reflecting the varied experiences of actors in Hollywood. This disparity was not just limited to post-show experiences. During its run, Girlfriends faced its own set of challenges. Despite being one of the most popular black sitcoms of the early 2000s, the show and its cast often felt the brunt of Hollywood's racial bias. The industry's reluctance to fully embrace diversity meant that shows like Girlfriends had to fight harder for recognition and support. Interestingly, the show's struggle with diversity was not just about race. It also touched on issues of gender. The cast, predominantly women, navigated an industry where gender disparities were evident. Pay gaps, limited roles, and the pressure to conform to certain standards were realities that the cast members had to confront, both on and off the set. Moreover, the challenges extended to the writer's room and production. The show, despite its success, often found itself battling for resources and support. This struggle for recognition in a predominantly white industry underscored the systemic issues that Girlfriends sought to challenge through its narrative. The show's production faced its own set of hurdles. Budget constraints and limited resources were constant challenges, reflecting the broader issue of racial bias in the industry. The cast and crew of Girlfriends had to work within these constraints, often finding creative ways to bring their stories to life despite the limitations.
These behind the scenes challenges added a layer of complexity to the show. Girlfriends was not just a sitcom, it was a microcosm of the broader struggles faced by actors of color in Hollywood. The show's success was a testament to the talent and resilience of its cast and crew, who overcame numerous obstacles to create a series that resonated with so many. As a result, the show became a symbol of resilience. It stood as a testament to the talent and determination of its cast and crew, who worked tirelessly to bring to life a story that was often marginalized in mainstream media. Girlfriends was not just a show, it was a statement, a push against the boundaries of an industry that was slow to change. Chapter 3. Cast Dynamics and Departures the chemistry among the cast of Girlfriends was undeniable, a key ingredient to the show's success. However, like any long-running series, it was not without its share of off-screen drama and pivotal departures that left fans and the media buzzing with speculation. One of the most notable departures was that of Jill Marie Jones, who played the beloved character Tony Childs. Her exit from the show after six seasons sparked rumors and left fans questioning the reasons behind her sudden departure. Speculation ranged from salary disputes to onset tensions, fueling the celebrity gossip mills. Jones's departure was a significant moment for the show, marking a shift in the dynamic that had been central to its appeal. Interestingly, the cast's response to Jones' departure was a mix of respect for her decision and a sense of loss for the character she portrayed. The remaining cast members, Tracy Ellis Ross, Golden Brooks, and Persia White, had to navigate the show's new reality without one of its core characters. This change brought new challenges and opportunities for character development, but also underscored the transient nature of the industry. Moreover, the dynamics among the cast were reflective of the broader challenges faced by actors in Hollywood. The pressures of maintaining a successful career, negotiating fair pay, and dealing with the often harsh realities of the entertainment industry were constant undercurrents. These challenges were particularly pronounced for a predominantly black cast in an industry where opportunities were not always equitable. As a result, the cast of Girlfriends became a symbol of both the potential and the pitfalls of Hollywood. Their experiences on and off the set highlighted the complexities of working in an industry where success is often fleeting and fraught with challenges. The departure of Jones and the subsequent adjustments within the show also brought to light the importance of representation. Girlfriends was more than just entertainment. It was a platform that showcased the diversity of experiences and perspectives within the African-American community. The changes in the cast were a reminder of the show's impact and the significance of the stories it told. Chapter 4. Controversial and Groundbreaking Storylines Girlfriends was not just a sitcom, it was a cultural touchstone that dared to explore topics often considered taboo on mainstream television. Girlfriends was a trailblazer in addressing serious and often controversial issues, making it much more than a typical sitcom. The show boldly tackled a range of topics that resonated deeply with its audience, reflecting real-life challenges and sparking important conversation. The show's willingness to tackle serious issues set it apart, making it a trailblazer in the landscape of TV sitcoms. One of the most poignant aspects of Girlfriends was its unflinching approach to discussing topics like infertility, infidelity, and substance abuse. These storylines were not just plot devices, they were reflections of real-life challenges faced by many women. For instance, the show's handling of S addiction was both sensitive and groundbreaking, offering a nuanced portrayal of a topic often misunderstood and stigmatized. One significant episode, Bye Bye, from season two, highlighted the sensitive issue of S addiction. In this episode, Joan, Tracy Ellis Ross, ends her friendship with Tony, Jill Marie Jones, after Tony shares details about Joan's private life. This storyline was praised for its nuanced portrayal of S addiction, a topic often misunderstood and stigmatized. It brought awareness and understanding to the challenges faced by individuals dealing with this addiction, showcasing girlfriends' commitment to addressing complex issues. Moreover, the show delved into the complexities of race and identity. In the episode Sister Sista, the character Lynn, portrayed by Persia White, grapples with her biracial identity, highlighting the nuanced experiences of being caught between two worlds. The episode reaches a climax when Tanya oversteps boundaries at a salon, causing tensions and highlighting the deep-seated issues of identity and ethnicity. 
This episode was crucial in illustrating that even among close family, there can be unbridgeable gaps built into one's identity and ethnicity. This storyline, among others, showcased Girlfriend's commitment to presenting diverse perspectives and challenging its audience to think more deeply about issues of race and identity. Interestingly, Girlfriend's also tackled the subject of infidelity with a realism that was both bold and empathetic. The storyline involving Maya's affair and its aftermath was a candid look at the consequences of infidelity, offering a perspective that was both honest and relatable. This narrative arc was a testament to the show's ability to handle complex emotional topics with grace and depth. The show also tackled the topic of infidelity in the episode Can't Stan Ya from season two. Maya, Golden Brooks, has an affair with Stan and later tries to end it, but Stan, seeking revenge, threatens to reveal the affair. This storyline provides a realistic view of the fallout from infidelity and the challenges couples face when trying to work through such a significant breach of trust. Pregnancy Pause from Season 1 was another standout episode where Joan grapples with the possibility of being pregnant. This storyline offered a realistic representation of single motherhood and the struggles of balancing career, love life, and potential motherhood. The episode resonated with many viewers, highlighting the fears and challenges faced by women in similar situations. In Season 6, the episode The Music in Me revolved around Lynn dealing with severe depression following the end of a codependent relationship. This episode, along with others like Joan's birthday suit and S. Lies and Books, tackled the issues and stigma surrounding mental health and treatment. Girlfriends did not shy away from showing the impact of mental health on its characters, contributing to a broader discussion on this important topic. These storylines were part of what made Girlfriends groundbreaking. The show did not just provide comedic relief, it offered real-life depictions of serious issues ranging from single motherhood to infidelity, betrayal, racial tensions, and mental health. It was a mirror into the process of navigating life, love, and career for many women, making it not just entertaining television but a significant cultural artifact. Girlfriends was a pioneer in bringing these complex and often controversial topics to the forefront, challenging its audience to engage with and reflect on these issues. The show's willingness to explore such themes was a testament to its importance and relevance, making it a beloved and influential series that continues to be celebrated for its bravery and honesty in storytelling. Additionally, the show's exploration of single motherhood, as seen through the character Joan, played by Tracy Ellis Ross, resonated with many viewers. It portrayed the fears and challenges of balancing career, love life, and motherhood, offering a realistic and relatable representation of the struggles faced by single mothers. Girlfriends was more than just entertainment. It was a mirror reflecting the lives and experiences of its audience. The show's willingness to address serious issues head-on made it not just a source of laughter but also a platform for dialogue and understanding. Chapter 5. The Show's Influence on Pop Culture Girlfriends did more than just entertain. It left an indelible mark on pop culture, influencing television and the broader conversation around representation in media. The show's impact was far-reaching, setting a precedent for how stories about African-American women could be told with authenticity and depth. The series' influence extended beyond its narrative. It paved the way for other shows to explore the lives of Black women with complexity and nuance. Girlfriends was a forerunner, challenging the industry's norms and opening doors for future series to depict diverse experiences more realistically. Its success demonstrated to producers and networks alike the audience's appetite for stories that diverge from the typical sitcom formula. Moreover, the show's cultural impact was evident in how it resonated with its audience. Girlfriends became a part of the cultural lexicon, a reference point for discussions about friendship, career, and love from the perspective of black women. The characters became role models, their stories and struggles mirroring those of the viewers. This connection fostered a sense of community and belonging among fans, further cementing the show's place in pop culture. Interestingly, Girlfriends also influenced fashion and style. The characters' wardrobes and hairstyles were not just about looking good, they were expressions of identity and individuality. The show played a significant role in popularizing trends and inspiring viewers to embrace their own style and beauty. The show's legacy extended to its cast as well. The actors became household names, their performances in Girlfriends opening doors to new opportunities and cementing their status in the entertainment industry. Their careers post-Girlfriends continued to influence and inspire as they took on roles that further challenged stereotypes and expanded the representation of black women in media. However, the end of Girlfriends was abrupt, leaving fans and the cast longing for a proper conclusion. 
The show's cancellation was a reminder of the challenges still faced by shows centered on minority experiences, despite their popularity and cultural significance. Chapter 6. The End of an Era the journey of Girlfriends came to an unexpected and abrupt end, leaving a void in the hearts of its devoted fans. The show's cancellation in 2008 was a jarring conclusion to a series that had become a staple in the lives of many. This chapter delves into the factors that led to this sudden closure, marking the end of an era in television. The writer's strike of 2007 to 2008 played a pivotal role in the show's untimely demise. This industry-wide strike had far-reaching consequences, affecting numerous television productions. Girlfriends, unfortunately, was among the casualties. The strike halted production, and the show was unable to regain its momentum once the strike was resolved. This disruption was a significant blow to the series, which had relied on a consistent narrative rhythm to engage its audience. Additionally, the shift in network priorities contributed to the show's end. When Girlfriends transitioned from UPN to The CW, the change brought about a new set of challenges. The CW at the time was undergoing its own transformations and seemed to prioritize other shows over Girlfriends. This shift in focus was felt by the cast and crew, who sensed that their show was no longer a central part of the network's strategy. Shockingly, the show's cancellation was announced without a proper finale, leaving many storylines unresolved. This decision was met with disappointment and frustration from both the cast and the audience. The lack of closure was a disservice to a show that had invested eight years in character development and story arcs. Fans were left to wonder about the futures of Joan, Maya, Lynn, and William, characters who had become like friends to them. The abrupt ending of Girlfriends also highlighted the challenges faced by shows centered on minority experiences. Despite its popularity and critical acclaim, the show struggled to receive the same level of support and recognition as its mainstream counterparts. This disparity was a stark reminder of the inequalities still present in the television industry. The end of Girlfriends was more than just the conclusion of a TV show. It was symbolic of the ongoing struggle for representation and diversity in media. The show had broken barriers and opened doors, but its cancellation was a reminder that there was still much work to be done. Chapter 7. Legacy and Aftermath as the curtain fell on Girlfriends, it left behind a legacy that transcended its time on air. The show's conclusion was not just the end of a series, but the closing of a chapter in television history that had redefined the portrayal of African-American women and set new standards for storytelling. The legacy of Girlfriends is multifaceted. It paved the way for future shows about black women and their experiences, inspiring a new generation of storytellers and creators. The show's influence can be seen in the wave of diverse content that followed, with television series more boldly addressing issues of race, gender, and social justice. Girlfriends proved that there was a hungry audience for stories that reflected a broader spectrum of life experiences. Moreover, the show's impact extended beyond the screen. It sparked conversations about representation in media, the importance of diversity in storytelling, and the need for more inclusive narratives. Girlfriends was a catalyst for change, challenging the industry to think differently about the stories it told and the voices it amplified. The aftermath of the show's ending also saw the cast and crew moving on to new ventures. Tracy Ellis Ross, Golden Brooks, Persia White, and Jill Marie Jones continued to make their mark in the entertainment industry, taking on roles that furthered their careers and continued to break barriers. Their journeys post-girlfriends were a testament to their talent and resilience in an industry that is often unforgiving. Reggie Hayes' story, in particular, highlighted the challenges faced by actors of color in Hollywood. His candid sharing of the struggles he faced post-girlfriends shed light on the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. His experience was a sobering reminder of the work still needed to create a more equitable and supportive environment for all actors. As the years have passed, the demand for a girlfriend's reunion or revival has persisted, a testament to the show's enduring appeal. The show's fans remain hopeful for a return to the world of Joan, Maya, Lynn, and William, eager to see where life has taken these beloved characters. Girlfriends was more than a sitcom, it was a cultural phenomenon that left an indelible mark on its audience and the television landscape. Its legacy is one of empowerment, representation, and groundbreaking storytelling. As we look back on the show, we celebrate not only the laughter and joy it brought, but also its role in pushing boundaries and opening doors. As we close the pages on the story of Girlfriends, we are left with a rich tapestry of memories, lessons, and cultural milestones. This show, which began as a simple sitcom about four African-American women navigating life, 
evolved into something much greater, a beacon of representation, a voice for the unspoken, and a mirror reflecting the complexities of real life. That's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching.